Hi guys, welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And this is the next episode in the previous one. We finished the tower and got our next mission. So currently we can move on. So I watched several. You passed the test. So you knew about BD1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? Get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of petroleum bean fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of Force-sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Yeah, okay, no yeah, problem. Right. Let's get it. Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look. Before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Yeah. Are you with us? We're in. Death Mirror Zepho, it's your choice. So, now we can choose where we want to go. So, as I said before, I was looking at some YouTube videos and tips and tricks and stuff on the Star Wars. So they are saying that it's better to jump to Dathomir to get the double lightsaber. And then come back to Zifo. So I think this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get our double bladed lightsaber. Hello table. Picking our next destination. Follow your instincts. Sure. Okay. This is Zifo and this is This is Zifo and this is Dethamir. Okay. And this is where we are. We got Four chests, two secrets, and 63 explored. Hmm. Okay, let's get to Dethamir. Um, okay, let's go. Travel to planet X Dethomir. 
Setting course for da Wait a minute. You want to go to Dathomir? I'm surprised Cordova went there. He must have had good reason. I am staying put on the Manus once we arrive. Red sunlight cannot be good for your skin. This place used to be home to a powerful cabal of force wielders known as the Night Sisters. They use the force? What, like Jedi? No. These witches served only themselves. Their powers focused on deception, illusion, manipulation. <laughs> Sounds like someone I used to know. During the Clone Wars, the Night Sisters made a deal with a Sith Lord who betrayed their trust. In the end, they were nearly wiped out in a massacre. Dathomir is a deadly place. We should be careful. Don't have to tell me twice. Ah, coming up on our creepy destination. Grab some seat, kid. Okay, let's go. understand we need to run all the way so I guess we need to go we need to go Here. Here. Well, good thing we weren't standing there. What is that thing? Uh oh. Wouldn't count on them being friendly. And yes, I need to get here. You trespass, Jedi. You must be a night sister. I had heard you were all dead. Not all. Dothamir is forbidden to you. Leave at once. Well, I'm afraid I can't do that, but perhaps we could help each other. You see, I... Easy. I'm not your enemy. Your actions say otherwise. Wait, hold on. I'm not here to... Ouch. 
to get him. Meditate. Okay. <laughs> we got the save here. Let's see our skill tree. Force. Leaping slash. So we can do skill point or a skill point. A survival, maximum life increase or empowered slow. Holding slow allow call to slow his target for a longer duration. Can we reset all the points? Maybe. Okay. Stim here. Thank you. Okay, so we here we have it. Double bladed lightsaber. The double bladed lightsaber excels at crowd control, use the force attack to overhelm and clear 
large groups continue blocking after successfully reflecting investor balls to reflect additional balls back at your enemies Customer's lightsaber. Here, okay, that's customers. Color. We got blue and we got green. Let's stick with the blue. The meter. I like this one. Switch. Valor and Wisdom. Let's choose this one. Sleep. Okay. Material Alloy Metal. Fine. Color blue or green, blue or green. Nidax near the village again. Okay, blue it's fine. Time to thin the herd. Okay. So how can we get fast back? No idea. Now we really need to get back to our ship. Let's see how we can get there faster. Beasts are foul and forceful. Especially those Nidex. Yes, most dangerous and Jedi! The Jedi! Uh oh, uh oh. oh. Stop running! Oh. Come, brother! Follow him closely! Okay. Let's save here. Skill tree, do we have another point? No. Let's go through here. He shakes in fear. Okay, we're running to our ship. As fast as I can. And we are here. Nice. Okay. So we got our double bladed lightsaber and we can get back. Finally. Glad you made it back in one piece. Get back there to were our some story. close calls out there. Hang on. Hey, what's this thing? What? Hmm. You've never seen a terrarium before? Sure, but don't they usually have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy, but you know, you could pay me back with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. When it's out there, you betcha. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of embar and glass, that's perfection. All right, I'll see if I can find any. Hmm. Okay. Pen. What? So we need seeds. OK. 
Okay. I ran into a night sister. What happened? Are you okay? I'm fine. Although she made it clear we're not welcome. She wasn't alone. The Knight Brothers? I think so. Oh no. There's more of them? I don't know much, but Cordova told me the Knight Brothers serve the witches of Dathomir. You're lucky to be alive, Cal. Please tell me we're leaving. It's an option. We can always come back here later if you're not ready, Cal. Yeah, I'm not ready. Need anything, Kreese? Oh yeah, sure. I'm really in the mood for a slow and painful death. You think you could find that sort of thing on this death planet? Or maybe just bring me back something that will haunt me for the rest of my dreadful life. Any of that work, you weirdo? <laughs> nice guy. I wonder where we should go next. Okay, so maybe there. Our story continues to Zepho. Zepho? Sure, let's go. Today, our great military is dedicated to enforcing the laws of the Empire, yielding to no one who seeks to destroy our galactic harmony. You hear that garbage? Turn it off, please. Lying imps. Do you think anyone buys this junk? Too many on the core world. Their daily lives haven't changed much since the Empire took over. Oh, come on. Some of them are even richer than before. Not like the expendable world. Not like Latera. And as long as the Emperor keeps the right people happy, it'll never stop. That's why we need the Jedi. Then we better get this hollow thing fast. Sit so down, kid. It's time to land. Okay. storm brewing down there this might not be the best time to land yeah something strange those winds are interfering with our comms hey cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm well, i can just make out a settlement in the middle of it then we have to get there copy that Bubbles ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Because it's under control, it's just a little tricky. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Rough landing. Perfect landing. <laughs> Crazy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Cal, over here. You did good work on Bagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, those who will get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, guys, this is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell button. And if you have something to say, please do it in the comment section. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.